Hi, welcome to my video tutorial. Today I'm looking at the Echo Smart Pen 8 gig. When you first receive it, obviously you need to unpack it. Then you need to charge the battery. You can do that by plugging the USB into the top of the pen. It's a mini USB, then plug that onto your computer, to your USB port, and that will start charging. Once you've charged it, we can then turn it on and start setting up your pen. You will need the light scribe dot paper, which I have in front of me, and in there you have these printed inlays. It enables you to set up your pen. So first thing I'm going to do is take the nib of the end of the pen, the cap, and now I'm going to turn it on by pressing the button at the top next to the echo. Wait for it to start up. And as you can see, I've already set it up. But if you've got the pen for the first time, you need to go to settings and select set time or set date. Set date. You can also choose the volume down or up, or you can turn the volume off completely. Also, this enables the brightness on your LCD on your pen. Also, the scroll speed on your pen on the LCD when you're navigating. You can actually navigate on your LCD screen by going bottom left hand corner and using the nav plus. Choose whether you're left handed or right handed. And on the left here we have status. So if I click storage it will tell how much storage I have left. 7422 megabytes. Also I can check the battery level by tapping that. Also I can select audio settings, for example what quality, I've currently got it on high, but you can change it to low. Tap again, and medium, and again will take you to high setting. Also at the top here you have a calculator as well. So what I want to do first is write a few notes in the lightscribe.paper. I'm going to speak at the same time because this is great for syncing, be it minutes from a meeting or lectures. So as you write down your notes, you'll actually be recording at the same time the speaker. So that way when you click back on the pad with the pen, it then reads back from that point. Let me show you how that works. I've now opened the LiveScribe.paper and at the bottom you see we have some printed images again. This enables you to control the pen. Starting from left to right, there's your navigation button. For example, I can navigate on the LCD screen on my pen. So if I have to click down, main menu. it takes me to main menu. And then I can start navigating. Click the record button when you start recording a lecture. So I'll click record and I can stop doing my notes. I'll show you that in a second. You can pause and stop that. You can also jump back and forth to parts of your audio that you've recorded. You can have bookmarks here as well, if need be. You can jump, if I move the pad round, to certain positions in your audio, your recordings. For example, if you had a two hour lecture, then clicking in the middle, 50% would take you to the one hour of that lecture. Playback speed here, slow it down or speed it up, and slow it down. And you know it's working because it will bleep. You also have a volume option here, up and down. And you can turn the volume off completely with that button there. So let's try it out. I'm going to write a few notes and I'm going to speak at the same time to show you how it syncs. So, first thing I need to do is select the record button. Now, if I show the LCD, you can see it's now recording. Now, I'm ready to write a few notes. So, I'm going to speak as I write these notes, then I show you how it syncs. One doing a quick note for testing two second note for testing. Three, final note to 
test. Also, I'll do a quick image or diagram as well because I'm going to show you how to export this to my script and to Lightscribe. Right, go to the bottom of the pad, finish the recording, click the stop button. Now, if I go back up to where I wrote those notes, all I've got to do is click the end of the pen and it should start reading back. Now I'm going to click free. Now if I go to the bottom of the pad, I can pause or stop. So I'm going to click the stop button. And it has now stopped. Now I'm going to take my notes and the audio and transfer it from the Echo Pen to the LiveScribe Echo Desktop. Once it's exported to there, I can then export it into my script and convert it into a standard font, into a Word document, notepad, or even email it. See you in a minute. Welcome back. I'm now looking at the Echo Desktop, LiveScribe software, and the MyScript software for conversion. First thing you need to do is plug your USB from the pen into your computer. As you see at the top here, it will say Smart Pen Detected. Also, it gives you the option to register your pen or remind you later. I recommend registering it. I'm going to put Remind Me Later for now. As it syncs automatically, all your notes and audio files will be uploaded into this software, Echo Desktop. So let me have a look where mine is that I did earlier. There it is. Now, I can actually zoom in right hand corner by dragging that to the right. And then I can see 48 there. So if I actually double click that with the mouse, it brings it up into its own window. Then that enables me to listen back read the text at the same time. For example, if I now just do a left click on the second option here, we'll start reading that back. No. Four. Testing. Three. So if I click on the first one, it'll start reading back from the first one. Go bottom left hand corner, click the stop button there. Now to come out of that window, I can go top left hand corner with the X, or if I go to the right here, click that button, it brings up all my original notes. Now I want to take those notes I just did, and I want to put them into my script and convert them to a Word document. So what I do is I can right click, and I can use the option there, share pages, and click my script, or I could choose the icon up here which says my script notes. For example, you might want to have a look at first what you want to actually convert. I see it in that window and then I can go to my script option and select my script. It will then send it to my script. I currently have a trial, 21 days left. I'm going to click continue. Now before I convert it, I need to choose whether or not I want to convert if I've got images or shapes. Now to do that, click the change button and you can see I've got it tick shapes so that will also convert any shapes I've got so if I click OK I'm now going to convert it from the left image to the right to see how it comes out now let me check it quick doing a quick note for testing that's fine second line see there's one wrong there that should be two but you can see my original handwriting's not great second not for testing Second, 
not for testing and that should be no so I can change that in a minute so it be second note for testing that says resting so I've got to change the T and the final one's free final note to test brilliant and that includes the tables and the numbers so I can convert that to a word document and change those areas quickly so if I go up to the convert button in the middle click OK let's going to convert it again to see if it changes no exactly the same so now I can export now as you see here I can choose where I want to export email word document or as an image I'm going to click word and let's have a look and see how it's come out and there you go perfect and I know the R was wrong so I can change that to testing and change the one to two there we go not bad I'm just going to close that word document and don't save and go back to my script go up to tools and select preferences just to let you know that you can choose where you want your exported files to go to in this case there's my default or some my script documents also you can change document format you might want to use A5 so it'll do it in that format for you also you can choose to keep line returns when converting text only so if you're doing line returns that will keep the original format language make sure it's defaulted to your language mine is United Kingdom click OK you can also print straight out using that option there I'm just going to export again and this time I'm going to export as an image click it once choose where you want to save it to save it to my desktop I'll just call it sample and then it'll be on my desktop and then it's as an image I prefer to convert it really using word because if there is any errors and you can change them obviously you can't change them when they're an image that's why I'm going to show you that quickly I'm going to open my script back up again so that's how easy it is to convert I'm going to go back to the desktop live scribe software again and I'm going to choose another notes I've done if I double click 35 this is what I did earlier and again it works the same way I can click on whatever line or part of the text and it will then play back the audio that corresponds to that point in the text but what I want to do is send that to my script and as you can see the handwriting there is not great I'm actually going to zoom in to show you we'll see how well it actually converts so again click the my script icon and send to my script once my script's open click OK and let me have a look here is my lecture on my first line you can see where I've done line it barely looks like line here is my second line here is my second line and here is my third line not bad but if you actually look at my where I've done third line it doesn't even look like line there so it's got a high but again it's no problem because when we click export word you can then change that one word to line it saves you having to type up everything open up word and then change what needs to be changed and it's done I'm going to close that, don't save I want to go back to the Echo desktop and you can see I'm currently on there where I zoomed in if I click this button here on the right it takes me back to all my notes I'm just going to go up to tools quickly and this is the Echo desktop and choose Echo desktop settings click on general if you don't like there's a sound when it starts up you can turn that off if you don't like it and you can also select auto launch echo desktop when smart pen is connected that will just obviously open it up straight away as you put the pen in which is a good idea especially on windows 8 you've got a shortcut on your desktop you have to keep trying to find it in a start menu also page view and smart pen now let's just have a library for the smart pen and start up if you require that there's my current smart pen name spuddy also view here you can view first page previous page and navigate through 
can also copy pages with or without background and you can also print and the audio tab here shows you the audio on your smart pen so for example you might look at one I don't need that one just do a right click delete audio from echo desktop or remove the audio from the actual smart pen so I'm smooth that and it just when you click that button it's just making sure that you definitely want to delete that because you cannot get it back and there you go, it's been removed from the smart pin. Click back the pages, and there's the basics of using the Echo Smart Pin.